Lynch, Lynch will Liberty be right freedom. back with the second and hour it is, live. All of the British world we'll be talking to Bill Still. The Let's Google the, the term royal wedding exposed. Let's Middle do it Eastern together. African countries are coming, a whole gaggle of them, to the royal wedding. It's disgusting. It's a bunch of hereditary gangsters meeting laughing at how they've tricked the public to worship their tyranny and think it's cute and funny and fashionable. So down with the Royals, down with the Saxe Coburg Gothas and their fake house name Windsor and their New World Order trying to retake North America. The planet's waking up and the corporate barons, the UN barons, the unelected bureaucracy, the new royalty backed up by the old royalty are going down. We redeclare the spirit of 1776 against you and your ilk. You're on notice. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Big news out of London Cross the Wires, what, right around 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. this morning? Finally! Finally, that's right. Prince William and Kate Middleton are going to be married. They're getting engaged now. They're going to be married next spring or summer in London. There is a statement out of Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth said she is absolutely delighted for her grandson and his bride-to-be. The United States was founded on July 4th, 1776 in resistance to the hegemonic despotic, tyrannical rule of King George III and the abuse against the colonies. And most of the British Parliament was against going to war with their fellow Englishmen because the king was unpopular there as well. It was known that he was a German king, his father being brought over to rule England. These people could barely speak English. Nothing against Germans, but you don't see me going over to Germany to rule them. The very essence of July 4th and 1776 is resistance to the disgusting House of Windsor. They didn't get that name until around World War I because before that they were known as the Saxe Coburg Gothas. Notice that we hear their names, Prince William. You never hear his last name, do you? The slave public, many of them in England, who support these people don't even know their last names because they don't want you knowing their last names. Three times in the last three years, the Parliament in Canada hasn't done what the Queen of England wants, so she suspended them, shut down the Parliament. Happened in the late 70s in Australia. This is a tyrannical group pushing eugenics, population reduction, all the carbon taxes. Uh, prince Philip, the Queen's husband, another German royal prince, uh, is a supporter of eugenics, his cousin. Uh, who was uh, the uh, prince married to the Queen of the Netherlands, an admitted Nazi, an admitted eugenicist. The point is, these are the most filthy, degenerate people you can imagine. She owns more than half of Canada, more than half the land in England, and then she's paid by the government for her palaces and all the rest of it. It's disgusting. And to watch U.S. television fawning, Fox, CNN, CBS, all of them, oh, it's so wonderful. No one in America can wait until next week, the way they're hyping it. One week until the royal wedding, this is exciting stuff. I mean, it's, it's hard to, I mean, the energy is just palpable. Young couples get married, they're just hoping that some bank will be nice enough to give them a mortgage. Yeah. These folks have a number of palaces to pick from. NBC News is launching a free royal wedding app for the iPad. Got a this is truly a love story that captures everybody's attention. This goes back to Edward Bernays a hundred years ago saying, look, to make politicians and royalty popular, we'll have Hollywood stars come to banquets and events with them. We'll have music stars. We'll have other people go there to basically make these elites be seen as celebrities themselves. You know why America was founded? Because under the imperial royal system in Europe and England, if you weren't part of the inside group who had basically the patronage uh, of the crown, where they gave you land, houses, jobs, you couldn't even get a license to be a carpenter, a license to be a blacksmith, a license to brew beer, unless their local lords gave you the authorization. So it wasn't just that you had to pay outrageous taxes. You had to get their permission 
to even have a job, to have a profession. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the essence of globalism is big mega corporations, many of which are owned and controlled by the German royal family that runs England uh, and, of course, uh, the Netherlands. The whole system they've set up and they promote is about this new global corporate system worldwide that through government power shuts down their competition and transfers the people's wealth through taxes to the offshore cartels. These people are parasites, they're disgusting, they're filthy, and if we want to reclaim the spirit of 1776, we should realize how abhorrent monarchy is in all of its forms. And that includes the UN and the new royalty uh, under the unelected EU bureaucratic system where over 80% of England's laws, even though they're not part of the EU, are made by EU bureaucrats. Please, everyone, remember the spirit of 1776. I know a lot of folks in England are saying they're going to go out and protest it. First, the government said you've got the day off slaves. You don't have to go to work on the you know big royal wedding coming up next week. And then the Republicans, uh, that's a group that want to get rid of the monarchy in England, said we're going to protest in the streets. And the government said you're not allowed to protest. Meanwhile, they criticize Syria for banning protest. So anytime you see some mind-numb zombie talking about how exciting the wedding is or how they watched it, you're watching a bunch of twitly, inbred idiots that can't even dress themselves and have valets. And until just a few decades ago, they try to keep it quiet. They have people that wipe their butts for them, groom of the stool. Do you know the history of America? Do you know it started in resistance to this very usurping German family who aren't even British? Do you know that most of the English hate the royal family? Do you know they have a secret police system that basically threatens people that talk about getting rid of the monarchy? Do you know that Princess Diana on record told her butler and others that made a videotape saying Prince Charles has threatened me, he's going to kill me in a fake auto accident? These people are absolutely anathema. And the servile folks that have been raised to worship these people and all the little old ladies that think it's cute well, that's why we're enslaved. That's why our country's bankrupt. That's why we're going to hell in a handbasket. Because you've forgotten what it is to be an American. Or perhaps you were never even taught. But now you're going to learn what it's like to be a subject, a slave. What is royalty? Royalty is Kim Jong-il in North Korea. His father took over and then gave him power, and now he's giving power to his son. Why don't they just put gold crowns on their heads and dress up with long flowing robes? Uh, maybe then Americans would celebrate the royal wedding of Kim Jong-il's son. Oh, but they wear little military uniforms and we know how clownish it is. But somehow we've been tricked at wearing big gold crowns and flowing robes. Is it more ridiculous and stupid? America has been great because it's not about what race you are or what family pedigree or how murderous your great granddaddy was. It's about what you individually can do. It's about what you individually have to offer, being an inventor, a trailblazer, an explorer, someone who's brave, an artist, someone who has incredible literature in their soul. These royal crony capitalist, non-free market systems always wage war against the individual. They always wage war against the productive. And the British royal family are at the head of pushing world population reduction. They are at the head of one-child policies. They are at the head of eugenics. They taught the Nazis everything they knew about eugenics. Do you understand this is mainline history? The King of England had to advocate at the beginning of World War II because he wanted to merge with Hitler. The British royal family come from a long line of dictators. They're oppressive. They're anti-liberty and freedom. And here it is, all over the British and world news today, the outrage that dictators from oppressive Middle Eastern and African countries are coming, a whole gaggle of them, to the royal wedding. It's disgusting. It's a bunch of hereditary gangsters meeting, laughing at how they've tricked the public to worship their tyranny and think it's cute and funny and fashionable. So down with the royals, down with the Saxe Coburg Gothas and their fake house name Windsor and their new world order trying to retake North America. The planet's waking up and the corporate barons, the UN barons, the unelected bureaucracy, the new royalty backed up by the old royalty are going down. We redeclare the spirit of 1776 against you and your ilk. You're on notice. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day. 
to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. (laughs) 